Okay, you ready? Well, I repeated a VCR. Not re I didn't repair it. I um cleaned the VCR tape, not tape. Getting that wrong too. I cleared just a VCR head, the thing inside the VCR, with a tape. Luckily, I can't believe it. I had one lying around. You just swab a little with alcohol on it, and then you put it inside the dumb player, and you push play. It doesn't play anything. There's nothing on there. It's not like with some of those old music discs that would test down and clean the laser lens. It's, it's nothing like that. This is film. So you got all gears and stuff. And I guess there's some kind... There's that... The, cl uh, the cleaner will... Talk out of my ass. The cleaner will clean that head inside the VCR a little. It can become more clear. So what were the results? Well, I have to say 50-50. I have one of the worst VC VCRs possible. Um, that I use down here. Unlike other people who probably will say, well, why don't you get your better VCR you got upstairs? That's in a special setup. It can't be moved anymore. Um, I have a really bad VCR, so when I, I'm thinking maybe there's something wrong with it, and that's why I started making those popping noises again, because I once I put the alcohol on the thing, put the tape in it, and then put the other tape back in, it was a good 40 minutes that everything went fine. It might have popped a couple of times, but for the most part, it was okay. And then the last 10, 15 minutes of the film, it started making the noise again. Um, that's what happens when you buy um, junk. But even for its day, it was junk. I remember, I think this was one of the last VCRs that was sold at one of our local stores. So, th so that can pretty much explain why um, all the final products you get, like, look at Blu-ray. Right now, Blu-ray's wearing out big time. I hate to say it. Look at all the players. They're all crap. They're not like they once were, where they were all nice. The 4K players when they first came out had all these kind of options. Well, with VCR, when it died, all the available VCRs, at least in this country, weren't very nice ones that they were selling. They were trying to throw just complete garbage at you. And that's what I've been working with. I hate to say, though, I transferred all my tapes on this shitty VCR should have did it with the other one, which I threw away, but it worked at the time. And I'm kind of disappointed because I now if I if you go to listen to some of my commercials and all that other stuff, there's a lot of pops in the video. There's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is remember if I'm gonna ever transfer anything from the VCR to a computer, I gotta remember to use a VCR that does not make noises and has problems. All right, well that's it. Bye bye.